Alright everyone, so today we're back and we're going to have to do this mission in camp, also the side mission here. There was also like a, this mission up here, then there was like the two question marks that appear if we go back up there. There's also a question mark right here. So there's a lot of mission, side missions we can do guys, and also that side mission up there, and also a bounty mission here. <laughs> so there's a lot that we can do. So we're going to do a main mission, then we are probably going to head towards a side mission. So that's the plan for this episode. See where it takes us. Hello, Mary Beth. How, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. Do you don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I, I like her. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. I'm really jumped out with that. Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get wow. <laughs> She's scary. Good.
Tilly. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the ball. Bring it up and I ain't done with them yet. Hold on. Get after them. What course is this? Dead eye. Coming for you, you bastards! Oh, there they are by the shoreline. That girl owes us. Got it. Now keep on the others. Yeah. 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 Wow, this one's good. I don't own it. Now come on. Got Sorry, you have. Oh, I like this horse right here. Head over there I might keep it. She's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good. You're the one tied up. Oops. <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> that was funny. That was definitely a fail. He must have hit his head. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. She knows I'm the you one that's used to hearing bodies. Idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? 
You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Uh, yeah. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. everybody so basically here we're in Rhodes sorry about that guys what was I gonna do oh Ooh, there's something Rhodes to go to Ooh, let's go see this forgot what I was going to do but whatever <laughs> let's go see this thing in Rhodes I forgot we just completed that mission there's only the Dutch one available right now. So we would have to do that. Hey! I don't feel like doing a Dutch. Yeah, just yet. So we're going to do a side mission real quick. See what it does for us. So who are we supposed to talk to over here? You're leaving me, huh? So, yeah, we'll leave this there! What's going on here? What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. He went for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! I wonder how much they're worth. You should just bring them in. <laughs> Did it tell you, tell you where they're at? Should be easy to find, right? Oh, right here. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn manners. You want it? What on earth? Bounty hunter. Wasting my time. What 
Well, it's eighty dollars. Wow. I love how I had to beat up a guy to get to the poster. <laughs> See, when they assault us, no problem, right? They have them assault us, not us assault them, so they can be the. so we don't get in trouble. Where the heck is our horse at? Our horse is all the way back at camp. Well, we'll probably just end up going back down here and into St. Dennis. Yeah. Here's one. Mr. Black and Mr. White. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been oh, a recall. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! I weren't born yesterday. Is How was that my fault? That's bullcrap. He insulted me. That is stupid. We'll come back at Rhodes later and finish off that mission. Um, because we get two out of five. Just head towards this road down here. What is this on the map right here? Oh, that was that church. Yeah, so then we'll head down here and then we'll go to St. Dennis and look at the side missions there. Ugh, I wonder how this family's doing the grace. Since we murder all of them. I get really close to my horse, don't I? How close am I now? Still not close enough, am I? Every time. Every time I need my horse, he's out here eating grass camp. I think he's in whistling range now. Sweet. Sweet cherry pie. Come on. Is that a bear? What is that? I think it's a pig. Hurry up. Got all day. A horse is being stubborn. There you are, buddy. Here we'll go towards Dutch. But we're actually gonna look around for missions. There's a lot of side missions I gotta do. Well, 
That sounds fun over there, but we're gonna mind our own business for now. St. Dennis is a huge city, wow. It really doesn't mind, remind me of Assassin's Creed. I don't know if it wants me to play it. It makes me want to play it right now. <laughs> Because of the big cities and stuff. Yeah. Now, some bunch of pure somewhere down in the south. Might not, it might just appear in the day. So I gotta be careful, so I'm not sure if it'll appear towards us. Get him later. I guess we'll do the Dutch mission. Hello. This is the way we go. Here we are. Where is Dutch? Hey there, Dutch. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just a some slick little greasy haired European with clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. 
nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman. <laughs> Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? No. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Come on now, boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> There's so many places to hitch your horses. I think about in a couple years, there'll be cars going around in this city. I'm really not too far off from that. This way. Do 
too. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. This is an impressive cemetery. Keep looking. Just a dog. Ooh. I want to find these grave robbers. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. <laughs> What's going on over there? Wait. <laughs> Hello. Wait a oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. There, these ones are probably eight over here. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. All right, here we go. You boys found my puppy. Guy's good at fighting. Who's talking now? Huh? The struggle is real. Let's stay on him. Come on. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time, Dutch can go, and I'll have a drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. Bronte empty-handed. 
Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Ooh. What do we Come got on. in here? Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Uh think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Alright, let's get out before the law goes. Oh, you killed a bunch of people. Oh crap. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Sound like us right now. Come on, stay together. Exactly this interest this place. Oh, good, they decided to leave. Alright, let's go. Come on. I just like the way you run. You know, try to be sneaky. Let's get back to Dutch. Alright, let's do this. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. Collect our side of the deal. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we've got Jack. Come on, Arthur. Well then, let's uh, see you what he says. Took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple on, country boys. There. 